Okay, Prius owner. As I mentioned before, I'm gonna do uh, a video showing that um, how to flash new firmware into this um, deck right here. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you real quick that um, you have to download the raw of the firmware and then extract it into um, on your PC, and you should only extract the uh, the update file which is like 800 megs megabytes okay so what you do is I'll show you real quick okay let me go into and you should put it into your GPS card Okay, so let's see. After you extract the, uh, you download extract it. You should see this right here, uh, download file into the uh, your SD card, GPS card. Okay, and after that you will boot into your recovery and then flash it from there. But uh, let me show you this before I flash. Okay, so once you have the new firmware, it is rooted and also the update is more simpler than just going into uh, recovery so you just click on this and it should detect it as long as you have the firmware in here okay and then select that from there that's after if you know because they, they come out update every month I will um, put in the link where you can download the firmware okay so this is the latest firmware uh, for June 22nd uh, something right here well you got it so yep so I would have to uh, <clears throat> to go into recovery you have to power down hold down the power button and then um, insert a pin into this right here see that sorry you cannot see it said reset you insert to that pin five times and you hear beep 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 five times and then it will kick into recovery Hey, let me try that right now. Give me a second. Let me put the phone down. Sorry, guys. Give me one second. So what I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna power off. Okay, it's off. Make sure when you do this, your car is on. Okay, not standby mode. Make sure it's on, just in case. All right, so I'm gonna do that right now, and then I'll show you the recovery mode. Give me one second. Okay, hold down, power, and then push it. One, two, three, four, five. And then you let go the power button, okay, and then you push it again. There you go. Now you are in recovery mode. Okay. Once you're in there, you can do let's see, update, image, and clear all from SD card, and then just click on that, and then you hold on to this. And there you go. It's gonna take a while. I say about less than. Five minutes or so, but depends. Hopefully, it should be faster, so this video is not too long. As you can see, it is moving. If you see an error right here, it said cannot find update, whatever. Make sure you have your things, your firmware in here. Okay, you can use the same one that comes with it. The, the one with the map, just put it right there. Just put it in the root folder. Don't put it into a folder or subfolder, just put it right in there. Okay. Let's see. Let's shoot. Okay, while we wait for this, um, so far everything is good. The, uh, the firmware is stable. This 
new features almost every update I'll show you one of the features that's pretty cool is uh, you can actually see your mile per hour running on your home screen basically it's picking up from your GPS and it just displayed right here which is part of the, um, the launcher yeah, um, I'm doing this video for one of the users. He uh, he don't um, he need uh, assistance for you know going to flashing and stuff like that. But you only do this once when you first get your deck or your head unit because um, you can't you know you can't update because they doesn't have that feature update. You know, but see, so yeah, you can see it's moving along. So far, so good. Yeah, so yeah, this is only one time thing, so um you know, once you update it to the latest one, make sure you make sure you pick the right uh firmware the um the world for your deck or else you know you might see issues. For mine it's actually uh RK 3188 10 24 times 600. If yours is probably the the other one is uh RK 3088 which is the Different uh, CPU and different models, so make sure you download your um, the right model, else you probably see uh, issues. And uh, as for um, backing up your old stock, you can't, but you can actually go into that forum, and then they have another link where there's like a, a Google Drive where you can flash back to the old one, which I don't think you want to, because the old firmware is kind of crappy. Yeah, this is the reason why I updated to mine. I know, sorry, it's kind of dusty. It's almost done. Um, like I said, it's probably less than five minutes. So every update, they adding more stuff in there, so it take a little bit longer, but not too much. Um, it's, it's pretty good. Just um, let's see. Uh, as far as issues with this deck, I don't see any issue yet, but I noticed that most of the deck, um, the white screen, for some reason, when, when, when you go into white background, it starts flickering in the front right here, which I, uh, I'll show you in a bit, but that's easy to fix because uh, all you have to do is take out your deck. And then just have to loosen the uh, or tighten the, um, the screws for the display. I saw a video on YouTube and I just don't have the time for it right now. But it didn't bother me at all because most of the time everything I, I use is all black. GPS everything is all black. So, But I'll show you in a bit what I'm talking about. But, uh, in the meantime, we'll just wait for this sucker real quick. It should be done soon. I know. I'm sorry. Nothing I can do to make it go faster. And also, uh, as I've mentioned before, I'm not sure um, if you guys remember, but uh, you know, when you're changing your the control for this and this, make sure you don't change this from there. Because a lot of users from the forum saying that after they change this, they cannot go back to like you know changing temperatures and you know going back and then changing all this. So don't mess with this. Just this right here. Well, you can if you want. I mean, but I don't know how you can actually go back. Because the deck allow you to change volumes and customize all this right here. One, two, three, four, five buttons right here, and this too, and this. But I don't recommend it. All right, so there's erasing and flashing and all that goodies right there. There you go. Exactly less than, less than five minutes. There you go. Um, I live in West Sacramento, California. Uh, if you need assistance, you need help, you know, hit me up on my page. If I have time, you know, 
swing by, help you out, whatever, let me know. But I'll try my best since, you know, life is very busy for me too, so. If you live around here, you need help, you know, putting your deck in or helping, you know, flashing the firmware, let me know. Now, yeah, well, the first boot is a little bit longer. It's like almost for everything. And once again, guys, please make sure your car is on, or at least you have some, you know, some gas, or at least don't let your car die while you're doing this. <laughs> because you will mess it up. And also, you can change this if you want. Instead of Toyota, you can change whatever you want, like Lexus or BMW. There's that all kind of logos on there. Yeah, sorry for the AC noise because the temp temperature outside is close to 90 or more. It's pretty damn hot in here, so I'm trying my best right now to uh, speed up the process so I can get it out of here. It's pretty damn hot. Alright. Well, there you go. Alright, so it's showing you all kind of stuff right here. New launchers. All this crazy stuff. So now this new firmware. Oh, like I said right here, you see this right here? It will change when you when you move. You know when you start rolling, it will change. It give you all kind of cool stuff. And you know you can add, you know like a shortcut here. Um, okay, and also let me show you something cool. Uh, there you go. So you can actually change your home launcher. So it comes with like almost six or seven of them. Look, like this guy right here. See that? Mm hmm. And let's see. Also, you change all kind of stuff. Like better than a stock one, you know. But there you go. But for now. I like this damn calm mod launcher right here. It's pretty pretty cool. Let's see, that one works through. So that's it guys. So you need any help, questions, uh, concern, just reply and ask me if I have time, I will help you out. And with this new features, it's you know all the well, all kind of stuff. But let me show you what I'm well, I was talking about the um, the flickering. I'm not sure you can see it, but yeah, you you you, you can see it. You see that? It start flickering on the white part. See, right here. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, it's it's it start to flickering more. I know you cannot. See. Yeah, see. This is easy to fix. All you have to do is just open the deck and then tighten one of the screws in there. I don't know why. This damn Chinese part, so I don't know. Manufactured, they don't tend to. But, you know, for three some $300 or less, not too bad. But other than that, that's it, guys. So, uh, thanks for watching and. Thank you. And happy modding.